just want to say thank you to every single one of you who has stopped and taken time out of your day to watch me go on these little journeys and to relive some of our childhood because it's not just mine, it's yours as well, you know, and to see these places in real life is just so surreal and to know that people love seeing these places as much as I do is just, it's wow, you know, and I just want to thank every single one of you for going with me on these journeys. Currently, I'm at 16,000 views, which might not seem like a lot, but for a new channel and to me, that is absolutely amazing. Like it's just so surreal that I have that many people who have watched my videos and it's and it's going up every single day Currently, I'm at 247 subscribers and I want to thank every single one of you as well for subscribing to my channel and all the praise you guys have given me uh, I really appreciate it. Those comments really make my day. You know that the videos are really nice and they're very They're fun to watch And it's just it's so it's so nice. I never thought that I would be out here making this this channel I've been I've watched plenty of these kind of videos and I've always wanted to, to make a YouTube channel you know and just to have this this kind of reaction is, is just amazing so again thank you to every single one of you and hopefully we hit a thousand subscribers soon I'm hoping for that very very soon okay so when it comes to the future of this channel I'm hoping to possibly hit a thousand subscribers in the near future because at a thousand subscribers YouTube actually lets you start monetizing the videos and to get paid to do these things, even if it's not a whole bunch, you know, but it's it's some revenue that would help going toward the channel, it would be amazing. It would be absolutely amazing to me. I would have never thought in my wildest dreams that I would be getting paid to make YouTube videos, you know? So we're on our way there, you know, 247 subscribers, and uh, hopefully it keeps climbing, you know, every single day we keep getting closer and closer to the 1,000 subscribers. Uh, I also am thinking about making a Patreon, you know, as, as my videos go on, as time goes on, uh, like I said, in the near future, hopefully I can make a Patreon and then reward those who who decided to help me, you know, help me go to these places, you know, to just show them, show them some love, you know, like, hey, maybe some stickers or, you know, videos that I don't post on YouTube. I don't know, you know, we'll see what happens. A t some t-shirts, you know, something from LA, you know, I go out there and get something from the filming location and send it to them, you know, something exciting, something fun, you know. And that, that's what I that's what I have planned for the future of this channel, you know, to keep pushing forward and just see where it takes me, you know. Now, when it comes to content, uh, I'm going to try to avoid doing a lot of those places that are really repetitive. Even though I do love these movies, they do get repetitive on YouTube. Uh, for instance, Home Alone House, everyone's done that place. You know, Bob's Market and the Fast and the Furious House, everyone has done it. Even though I did it, I, you know, I added places that were not we're not seen, we're not shown, you know, you guys, there's no videos of those other places, you know, um, Clueless has been done, a whole, a whole fuck ton, E.T., you know, those movies, they just, they're oversaturated, I think, they're just oversaturated, and I'm trying to avoid that, it's what I really want to do, so when it comes to content, I want to do things like, um, like I said, Drive, you know, no one has done Drive, uh, I was really proud of that video, Kill Bill, I was very proud of, because nobody had done Blade was one of my oh I was so happy to do Blade because no one has done Blade that's in, that's incredible that no one has done Blade so I was happy to put that out um so that's what I want to bring you guys stuff that's original you know things that haven't been seen very much or movies that maybe hey that I haven't you know that movie that's true you know uh, that movie was filmed in LA you know nobody ever covers it why you know like Blade why how come no one has covered Blade yet you know so I'm I'm proud of that. I'm proud that I was able to get those those three at least that no one has done in the Fast and the Furious locations that you don't see in any other any, any ugh, in anybody else's videos apart from the house and Bob's Market. So I was proud of that. Now I'm headed back here in April and I'm gonna finish doing the Fast and the Furious filming locations. That's when part two is gonna come out. Hopefully that's gonna be the next video. Um, so that's what I'm I'm planning for the future of this channel. And hopefully it goes great and you guys can come along for the journey and we'll have a great time watching these, you know, seeing these places, you know, from our childhood, seeing these movies that we grew up watching, you know, see where, where they took place, you know, where they were filmed, how they were filmed, you know, let's, I'm like, I'm so excited. I can't even, you know, I'm, I'm just rambling, you know, because it's so, it's just so exciting to me. It's super exciting. So I'm going to be headed out there in April. I have a bunch of things planned already. I have my, my list of, uh, of places that I'm going to go, of filming locations, and I know for a fact are not on YouTube, and they're going to be really fucking cool, man. So I can't wait. I cannot wait for you guys to see them. But until then, you know, I know it's a couple months out. Maybe uh, I can put something out in the meantime that I have, 
Like I said, I have a lot of videos that are not, um, I can't, they're kind of somewhat unusable because of the, you know, the equipment that I was using, but I'll, you know, I'll, I'll address that in the next section of this video, but, um, we'll see if I can put some of those out, you know, maybe just to hold it over for the next two months. Because like I said, I'm not out there until April 18th. That's kind of a long time to wait to upload something. So we'll see where it goes. All right. So I want to address the previous batch of videos or my first batch of videos rather. And I just want to acknowledge that they're, they're a little rough. You know, I know I've been getting praise on them and I really appreciate it. Like I said, I do appreciate it, but they could definitely use some work since, since then, since this last trip I went in LA, I have uh, acquired more equipment to use, uh, more things that'll possibly help the video. I know not possibly, but will help the videos come out a lot more professional, a lot more, uh, uh, cinematic, I suppose I'm working on that currently. Right now I have a wired lapel mic to get rid of the wind. I also got the, the, the dead mouse, hopefully negate some of that wind. I'm hoping to possibly get the, uh, the wireless one. That way I can have a tripod away from me and I can still pick up audio and not have to shout to, for the iPhone mic to hear me. So when it comes to audio, I know it's a little rough, but I am working on that. When it comes to video, video now, I have no, I have zero, zero complaints about the quality of the video. The only issue that I'm having right now is that I'm recording on a, an iPhone 12 Pro Max. And those are notorious for overheating. So I'm out there doing these filming locations and almost instantly, almost immediately within like 30 seconds to a minute of recording, the screen starts dimming because it's getting hot. Sometimes I've even had issues where like it stops recording altogether because it's so hot and it tells me to just get it out of the, the sun or move it out because the temperature is too hot. And it's like, I just stepped out, you know, I've just started recording and that's just the big issue that I've had. I've had to, there's times where I had to go back to the car turn the AC on full fucking blast and then have the phone just sitting there for five minutes, just cooling off, waiting and waiting and waiting. Then I can go back out and then do these filming locations. So suffice it to say that wastes a lot of time. It's just frustrating on my end. The quality is absolutely amazing, but just dealing with that issue is just difficult. So hopefully by the time I, I head out this next uh, upcoming April that I can get myself a better camera, maybe a better phone. I'm hoping to get a, a DSLR, but I mean, I might just get the iPhone 14 because I've heard that that one has uh, has fixed that overheating issue. I don't know. We'll see. But that's a that's that for the video. Um, now, when it comes to commentary, I know I tend to repeat myself a lot. You know, I, I have to work on that because I'll say things like, oh, there it is, guys. That's it right there. You know, and I've noticed that in post that, man, I say that, I, I must have said that like five or six times in just a span of three minutes, four, two minutes, three minutes. So I'm, I'm working on that right now. And I'm just trying to come across as a little more well-spoken, but also be myself. You know, it's, it's a little tough balancing act that you have to do because uh, if you say something wrong or you misspeak or you, you, um, you mumble or stutter while you, and you got such a great, and you got a great fucking, uh, you know, you have a great fucking, um video, you know, but then you mess it up by saying something stupid or you, you know, it's like, fuck, it's frustrating. And you have to go back and start over, you know, and I'm trying to work on that. I'm trying to work on how I present myself and how I, I word these things because I don't want to come off as repetitive. I don't want to linger too long on some places, which I know I've done. I want to get the shot, show it how it is, you know, talk a little bit, speak a little bit on it, you know, get myself in frame and and uh, yeah, just get it so that it, when I edit it together, it comes out solid, solid as a rock, you know? So I'm, I'm definitely working on that. Another thing, another thing that I noticed in these videos and I'm like super embarrassed about it, man, I look like trash in some of these videos. <laughs> my hair is all over the place. My face, you can, I mean, I have like five o'clock, not five o'clock shadow, but I have the little, the little hairs coming out, you know, they're all unkempt and then my, my sideburns are just completely fucked up. And they're all over the place. My hair is, like I said, it's all over. It's just a, a mess. I look like a mad scientist. My, my, my skin is all red and it's all dry. And it's embarrassing, you know? It's embarrassing that I, that, I, <laughs> that I recorded myself like that. I just was too lazy to go out and just put some lotion on and shave up before I went out. So that's another thing that I'm definitely working on. This next time I'm out there, man, gotta have my hair brushed, throw some mousse on it, you know, put some cream clean my face up real good, make sure I'm shaved up, you know? 
and uh, yeah, be presentable, you know, actually be presentable in some of these videos. It's, it's embarrassing where I'm walking in and, you know, I'm walking with the gimbal like this and I'm over here talking and the gimbal's like hitting my face right here and you can see all the, all the dry skin and, and the redness of it. It's just horrible, man. So I'm working on that for sure. For sure. That's just one of the things I wanted to address, but yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much the things I wanted to talk about on the first batch of videos. If there's anything else you guys want to input, you know, I'm more than happy to take your, 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 your advice, your criticisms, your, you know, anything you can say, you know, to help me out, whatever, you know, I appreciate it. And I do appreciate every single one of you that take the time to watch these videos again. So, um, yeah, we'll see you here in April, man. It's going to be fun. I promise there's going to be some great, great videos coming out. And, uh, also I'm going to do a couple reaction videos, not me reacting, but other people reacting to a certain special car that I rented. And hopefully those, uh, those are just as fun for you as they are going to be for me, you know? And, uh, I'm so excited to do this. So yeah, here we go guys. Thanks again.